Hi. Welcome to this, our first ever weekly video newsletter. I'm Sam Rollins, Chief of Communication at the District, Galt parent, and actually alumni of Galt, Branson 40 Middle, and Harbor High. We wanted to try something direct and different to release news weekly, since I don't know if you've noticed, but things tend to happen, happen often lately and change quickly. So we wanted to be putting effort into making sure that everyone's on the same page. So here's the headlines. Five day weeks started at elementary school on Monday. As of this week, half of the eligible population of Santa Cruz County have received at least one vaccination shot. More than a third are fully vaccinated. On Monday, the district ran a clinic vaccinating students over 16. We still have spots available for summer school and with summer fast approaching, we're all starting to reflect on the weirdest year in education in memory. I wanted to say that our five, uh, our, our five day expansion in elementary reflects not only the steadily improving picture of the pandemic locally, where our positive test rate has dropped below 1%, but also the monumental work of our teachers, school staffs, and facilities teams, who we can't and frankly don't thank enough. Thank you. We're so excited to bring classes back together, and it's really been a joy to see students light up being back in the classrooms. I also wanted to say that I know that for some families, this feels like a long overdue transition, while for others, it feels fast. Lately, I take every chance that I can to remind us that while we've had the same year, we haven't all had the same year. And we're carrying very different wants, needs, urgencies, and traumas with us when we reflect and look back on to last March. We're doing what we can to move forward together. But if you need help of any kind, you can always reach out. And the easiest way is probably to ask me. My email is on the page. I wanted to remind everyone that we keep a public dashboard of all COVID cases related to the school system. That is, we track every case, all exposures, and the so far zero cases of on-campus spread. If it happens, we'll report it on the dashboard. And I'm putting that link on here too. We want to thank the county and Dignity Health. We've been really proud to be able to help run a vaccination clinic for the past few weeks at Harbor High and now at Branson 40. It's been our honor to help keep our community safe. On Monday, we were able to open a vaccination clinic for students and we distributed 500 shots. We're looking forward to setting up another clinic soon. Um, I'm also attaching links to this post on the, uh, to the COVID safety Q&A that we w ran, a webinar, with Palo Alto Medical Foundation pediatricians on school safety. Um, and a uh, video of our facilities director, Trevor Miller, outlining the air filtration upgrades that we completed this spring to prepare for a return to campus. I also want to remind everyone that enrollment is open for summer school, and that link too is below. And for now, that's it. In the coming weeks, we're going to be doing some review of the incredible bond work that our facilities team has completed in the last year and has filled our campuses with some really new, exciting additions for returning students. I'll also be sharing a clearer picture of what school will look like in the fall as that comes together. We'll be getting to know the team at the district, hopefully, a little bit, and, of course, continuing to provide updates on a situation that, in 14 months, hasn't given any of us much time to rest. Um, I'll say again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, and I hope that you and your family are safe and well. Thanks.